Natural Resource Police is the primary responsibility for the river for boating safety and uh, uh, boating activity here. On the 4th of July weekend, we will we'll have uh, officers on the water from approximately 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. or 12 p.m. Uh, our activity will be mostly peak during the day between 12 and probably 5 p.m. Uh, we'll do boating safety checks, uh, compliance checks to make sure they have all their safety equipment. Uh, at that time when it gets real busy, it is a, <clears throat> a regulation that you must stay 100 feet away from any other vessel or the shoreline or docks. And that is uh, usually sometimes a, an issue with uh, the personal watercraft or jet skis. So we, we'll have a lot of them on the river during uh, the 4th of July weekend. And also we have minimum wake zones and speed limits. Uh, the speed limit is 35 knots or 42 miles per hour. And uh, so that's only on weekends and holidays. So we will be uh, checking on compliance with that. The basic things that you need to have on, on the vessel are uh, you need a personal flotation device or a life jacket for each person. And they must be the correct size. And then they must have a throwable device, which is a seat cushion, is a lot of people refer to it as a, a throwable device. We'll be checking boaters to see if they've been operating under the influence of alcohol. The last two years we've had drownings on the river, uh, one in 2010 and one in 2011. Uh, alcohol has been involved in both uh, cases and uh, it was a factor in the drownings. We attribute the, the small number to uh, we have a requirement of personal flotation devices that uh, they're required to be worn when a vessel is underway or under power. That means either floating or uh, under motorized power from November 15th to uh, May 15th.